Ten trainers have started more than 11 horses in the Kentucky Derby. Nine of those ten have won the race. All nine have won it more than one time. One of the ten is still waiting his turn. The signs are all over the barn. Over 9,000 times a horse trained by Steve Asmussen has made a trip to the winner's circle. But he has never had one earn its way to this winner's circle. And like all great coaches, he remembers the losses. Well, yeah, um, we're 0 for 23 in the Derby. Yeah, it's a big hole. <laughs> yeah, he wants to fill it. You know, uh, like I said, you know, we, we've come here nine, you know, eight times together. He's come here a bunch of other times. You know, he's won pretty much every other race. You know, I think uh, I've won a pretty fair amount of races as well. So it's like this is one that you definitely want to win. If you're in the business, this is it. Of those 23 Derby starters for Asmussen, two have finished second. And both looked like winners when they turned for home. Nero on the outside. These two animal kingdom roaring down the center of the track. I look back at that moment. I didn't see animal kingdom coming. So I literally know what it feels like to think you're going to win the Derby, <laughs> but it didn't happen. Look at it, Lee is second, then comes Battle of Midway, Classic Empire, they're coming to the line, and the dream comes true, Always Dreaming has won the Kentucky Derby! And that's not counting the two all-timers he started on the first Saturday in May. Gunrunner finished third in 2016, and Curlin third in 2007. With Curlin, I, I just never dreamed he could get beat. I mean, the, Curlin gave you so much call. I never dreamed he'd lose. He did. And it felt like the walkover for Curlin's Derby took three strides, and the walk back felt like the Sahara Desert. Even after all the disappointment, Asmussen is back. Well, I'm good at getting here. And also grateful for another opportunity. You know, I'm a horse trainer. You know, we're not we're not smart enough to give up. You know, we're going to keep at it. And this time he'll lead over a horse in epicenter that he thinks might be his best shot yet. I and mean, you can't stand here and compare him to Curlin and Gunrunner yet. But how they finished their career made them who they were. But he is running faster right now than they were when they got here. And maybe he'll be fast enough to add another sign to the barn. I think he will be. He's my pick, epicenter. If I could just speak as cleanly as Steve speaks, uh, I would be just fine. <laughs> Work on it. Goals. You have a job as an anchor. Great. <laughs>